All right, welcome back, IB Economic students, to this video lecture. Today, we'll be going over externalities, including negative and positive externalities, spill over costs and benefits. We'll be going over explanations as well as some graphs. Also, we'll be talking about potential government solutions and interventions that of the government can make into this market failure to curb the negative effects of this market failure and to actually uh, solve this market failure. So first things first, let's define externalities. What are externalities? So divert your attention to right here. Externalities are um, spillover effects that influence third party members not, okay, I'm put this in bulk, not involved in the uh, original trans action. So, um, there are spillover effects. Now, to get, to illustrate this more, what are some examples of spillover effects? For example, uh, factories may produce pollution in the rivers or in the ocean or in, in air, uh, air pollution. These are all, all seen as spillover effects that are added on to third party members that are not originally involved in the original transaction. So these are what externalities are. There are, there could either be positive externalities or negative externalities. Negative externalities could be anything like factories or smoking cigarettes, uh, you know, the secondhand smoke. Positive externalities could be hospitals, right? Or education, you know, people get educated, but um, the education also benefits third party members because society as a whole benefits when education is involved. So that is where we get the, uh, the, the idea of private costs and benefits versus social costs and social benefits. And, and, and social costs are, are private costs, private costs plus external cost okay so so the cost for a good okay the cost for you going to the supermarket and buying a pack of cigarettes extends beyond maybe just the 20 bucks that you have to spend on a pack of cigarettes it extends to third party users it extends to environment it extends to secondhand smokers okay so that is the theory of of external costs and social costs are calculated by social costs equals private costs plus external costs and, and and that's where we could get the terminology of these six. And okay? we have we have uh, marginal private costs, marginal external costs, marginal social costs. So mar uh, MPC is is mar is marginal private cost. And, and this is the cost for the private individual or the private firm. So the cost of production, okay, or the cost of buying something for an individual or for a firm. Now the marginal external cost refers to the cost for society or social cost. This is the cost that society has to take on. For example, uh, uh, um, pollution, okay, a factory that pollutes, maybe they need to, to, to buy the materials for, for production. Okay, So this is the private cost for the firm. However, the cost does not just stop at the private cost. The pollution also influences to um, people, maybe people or maybe society or even uh, uh, civilians living downstream. Okay, So there is an external cost. A marginal social cost, okay, marginal social cost, this is the cost for the entire society as a whole, which is uh, calculated by private cost plus external external cost. Now, um, these are costs, but there are also benefits. Marginal um, private benefit. Okay, what is a marginal private benefit? For example, um, when, when, when you send children to school, okay, when you get them educated, you have to uh, pay the school or pay the curriculum, pay the, the school fees, right? These are marginal private benefits. However, there are also marginal external benefits. That of which uh, occurs when when children get educated, marginal external benefits also occurs. Now, why 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 does the term marginal exist? Okay, marginal basically shows the additional welfare gained from each additional unit that occurs. So each ad each additional unit of cost and each additional unit of benefit that of which occurs when uh when when additional units are produced or when additional units are consumed. That of which may either have negative or positive effects on society and on the individual consuming and producing a good. Lastly we have marginal uh marginal uh okay we have marginal social benefits. Okay. Now what are marginal social benefits? Marginal social benefits are um marginal social benefits 
Marginal social benefits are benefits to society as a whole. Okay. Now, now that we have defined these six key terminologies, what do these look like when it is graphed? So let's look at a prime example of 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 a good that has negative extra, negative externalities. Cigarettes. Okay. So right here we have a standard demand and supply chart. I ignore this this curve right here. Just look at these two curves. Okay. We have a standard demand and supply chart. Our demand slopes downwards, and demand is also marginal benefit. Why is demand marginal benefit? Because whenever a good is consumed, marginal benefit is ex is experienced. Therefore, marginal benefit slopes downwards, and marginal benefit is the demand curve. Now, we have our free market equilibrium. Okay, if no government regulations are enacted, this is the free market. Okay, um, so so that that is the marginal cost, the marginal private cost. Okay, the private marginal cost, the private marginal cost (PMC) is right here. Okay, this is the cost for the consumer to buy each pack of cigarettes. It's right here. Now, as you can see, this right here is the free market equilibrium. So, so the red dot is the free market equilibrium. However, the free market equilibrium is has a higher quantity than the socially optimum equilibrium. Okay, the socially optimum equilibrium is when supply curve takes account for the marginal social cost. Okay, because the the cost for uh for consuming cigarettes is not just the individual cost, the cost of buying a cigarette. It is also a cost of your health. It is also the cost of secondhand smoking. It is also the cost of the well-being of the entire society. Therefore, marginal social cost is also an act. Therefore, um, the socially optimum quantity is actually less than the free market equilibrium. Now, this is where eco uh, this is where market failure occurs because the market fails to provide socially um, optimum quantities. Now, examining potential government solutions. What are some potential government solutions? Potential government solutions includes having a tax. Okay, so if you have a tax, the entire supply curve shifts from the free market equilibrium to the socially optimum equilibrium. Therefore, market the market failure is therefore curbed, and market failure does not exist anymore. Okay, so this is the definition and explanations of uh, externalities of positive and negative externalities, and also with an example of how governments could solve this externality, and also a graph of the negative externality. So I hope this video is helpful, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.